It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here, watching with you and praying with you as we get ready now for that appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Last Day's Church community, praying and giving to support this ministry to be here and continue. There's prophetic news from the Middle East where Israel has attacked Beirut, Lebanon as they struck a building in southern Beirut with an airstrike, killing the most senior military commander of Hezbollah. Israel did this in retaliation for the Hezbollah deadly rocket attack on the Israeli village of Majdal Shams in Israel's Golan that killed 12 Israeli children playing on a soccer field. As the prophetic retaliations between Israel and Tyre and Sidon in southern Lebanon of Hezbollah continue just as prophesied in the Holy Bible prophecies of Joel chapter 3 that will lead the nations to war. The, the Israeli strike occurred in Dahe, a suburb south of Beirut, and a stronghold of the Iran-backed Hezbollah Lebanese terror group. The missile strike blew a large hole into the side of an eight-story apartment building in this southern Beirut suburb. It was reported that the strike was carried out by a drone that launched three missiles. Beirut residents reported hearing a loud blast followed by a plume of smoke seen rising over the neighborhood. And Lebanon's government said that three people were killed and 74 wounded in the strike. Fuad Shukar, Hezbollah's most senior military commander and a right-hand man to Hezbollah terror leader Hassan Nasrallah was the target that was killed in the strike. Shukar was a member of the Jihad Council, Hezbollah's top military body, and was the head of its strategic division, and was also a senior military advisor to Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, serving as his, quote, right-hand man, unquote. The Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF, said that Shukar was responsible for the Majdal Sham strike, as well as other deadly strikes on Israel, and said that since Hamas's October 7 attack into southern Israel, that Shukar had been managing Hezbollah's near daily attacks against Israel, as he was the commander of Hezbollah's precision missile projects where the IDF said he was responsible for the majority of Hezbollah's most advanced weaponry, including their precision-guided missiles, cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, long-range rockets, and UAVs, and responsible for the terror group's force buildup, planning and execution of terror attacks against the state of Israel. He was also wanted by the United States with a $5 million bounty placed on his head by Washington, D.C. for his role in the 1983 bombing of the U.S. Marine barracks in Beirut when terrorists drove two trucks filled with explosives into buildings housing a multinational peacekeeping force, hitting the four-story barracks of the 1st Battalion, 8th Marines, causing it to collapse, killing 220 U.S. Marines, 18 sailors, and three soldiers, and injuring another 100 more. And this 1983 terror attack is said to have started the growth and prestige of the Shiite Muslim terror organization of Hezbollah, whose name means the Party of Allah that occupies southern Lebanon today, including Tyre and Sidon, which are called out in the end-time 
prophecies. And this location is from where Hezbollah will continue retaliations of war against Israel as prophesied in commitment to their objective of their organization's manifesto to obliterate and destroy Israel. And these ongoing increasing retaliations between Israel and Hezbollah are now at a dangerous moment as they are widening this Middle East conflict as Israel's conflict with Hezbollah at Israel's northern border with southern Lebanon has now spread up to Beirut and Hezbollah's large potent missile arsenal supplied by Persia, Iran, can now reach anywhere inside of Israel. Both Israeli and Hezbollah officials are accusing each other of having crossed their red lines, and they are threatening each other to expand their attacks on each other to where now countries as the UK, Russia, and now many others, they are telling their citizens now to get out of Lebanon and to not travel there, which is typically a sign of intelligence that the prospects of war have increased to near certainty. And airlines as United and Delta are canceling flights to Israel amid fears of coming attacks. Rockets and drones from Hezbollah in southern Lebanon, they are still raining over the border, pouring down into northern Israel, wounding and killing Israelis, while Israeli Air Force jets are also still striking back in southern Lebanon at the Hezbollah terror group. These retaliations between Israel and Hezbollah are prophesied to happen in the last day's prophecies of Joel chapter 3, where the prophecies foretell that these retaliations will lead to war that affects the nations of the earth in the prophetic last days. And the biblical prophecies, as Psalm 83, along with Joel 3, foretell that Hezbollah, which is biblical Tyre and Sidon in southern Lebanon in the last days, that they will help lead the Arabs into unifying for a multi-front prophetic war against Israel in the last days that prepares the nations for war, signaling the world is nearing the end of this age and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. These events and conditions happening right now in the world our warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus Christ commanded that we must in John chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. And as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, they described how to be born again of the water and spirit as Jesus Christ commanded we must. They described it in the Acts of the Apostles preaching, in the Acts of the Apostles chapters 2 and 8 and 10 and 19. And if you would like help, finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of the Lord Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org. We're in the footer at the bottom of the page. You'll find our email address. You can just email us with the name of your town, your state, and zip code with your request, and we will be glad to respond and help you just like we have helped scores and scores of so many others. The prophecy has come true. The perilous times are here. The need is even greater than ever before to declare the signs of the last day's prophecies. And if each of our viewers would Give a donation as the Lord leads you, no matter the amount. 
you will help ensure that the signs of biblical prophecy continue to be shared here on this ministry channel with the world. You can securely give on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, on the giving page. Give whatever the amount as the Lord leads you to help us continue sharing more signs of biblical prophecy that Jesus is soon to appear for his church. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings where we have a prophetic word from the Lord to share then with you of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Significant, amazing prophetic signs are happening now in world events. And for the biblical believers of Lord Jesus, it's telling us, as Lord Jesus said, to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Some